I'm going to make some quark wholemeal fruit scones. Quark is a virtually fat-free, um, similar to a, a, a sour cream. It's got a sort of slightly sharp taste to it, but it's very good for cooking with, lovely in sauces, anything with pasta. Um, you can pop it into your soups, even a salad dressing, but I'm going to make some scones with it today. So first of all, I've got 450 grams of sifted wholemeal flour here, to which I've added one teaspoon of baking powder, and it's combined well in there. Then I'm going to add 75 grams of butter. You can afford to use butter because you're using a nice low-fat quark to go in the rest of it. So. so I'm going to rub this in now until you get fine breadcrumbs. This takes a little while, but it's worth spending the time on it. And it's quite therapeutic as well. It's quite relaxing. So I've combined the, the butter in with the flour into nice fine crumbs. Just keep lifting it to it aerates it nicely, makes it nice and light. Now a little tip, give the bowl a, a good shake and any bits of butter that haven't been combined in, any lumps, will come to the surface. But I think luckily we've got it all in there. Now I'm going to make a, a sweet scone. Um, so I'm going to put sugar in. I've got 75 grams of sugar there. And I've got a combination of sultanas and cranberries because I think they make a nice, nice mix there. If you want to do a um, savoury one, any sort of cheese is in there, nice strong mature cheddar cheese and some English mustard and a bit of pepper make a nice, nice cheese scone. I sometimes will make a batch of this up, just like this, either with the fruit and sugar or without. Pop it in the freezer so any unexpected guests who want some scones quickly, you've got them there and you can, you can add your a pot of quark in the fridge, you can quickly knock up some scones. They do actually freeze well as cooked scones but it's quite nice to have them straight from the oven. Right now, so I'm going to add, I've got 100, about 110 millilitres of buttermilk here and to that I'm going to add a 250 milliliter pot of quark. Pop all that in. Mix it all up. You might not need it all, but I, again, I, instead of an egg, I, I tend to use whatever's over uh, to just um, brush over the, the scones before they go in the oven, just that and a sprinkle of sugar, and it gives it a nice, nice top. So mix that well. There we go. Get my scone mix back. Make a little bit of a dip in the middle there. And we're going to pop it in. So I'm not going to put it all in yet, just in case it gets too wet. Now, spend the time lightly just bringing it all together. And so you want to want a nice soft dough, obviously not too soft that it'll spread in the oven, so it needs to come together. I think I'll add a bit more in there. And wholemeal flour does absorb the liquid more than white flour would, so sometimes you do need that bit more liquid. You shouldn't need any, any flour on your surface if it does at the sort of right texture. It's just nice and pliable. So I don't like using a rolling pin to do this because I think it sort of knocks the air out too much. So if you just lightly press it down, a nice flat surface. We just get a baking tray. And I use, I suppose it's about two and a half inch cutter there, but you can make small ones, large ones, triangular ones, one great big one. And we just pop them all onto the board there. I'm 
I'm just going to brush them over, gives them a, a sort of slightly different, not necessarily a sheen, but slightly different sort of look. Now I'm just finished doing all of those and I'm going to pop them in the oven. Gas mark six, about 190 degrees centigrade, and that will they will take about 12 to 15 minutes. So the scones have had about 15 minutes in, in a nice hot oven there. It's all nice and, and sort of golden on the top, nicely baked top and bottom. Why not enjoy your afternoon tea with a scone topped with some jam and some clotted cream.